Hi, this is Modern Mike Cam here, and I'm going to be showing you my Webco Model BA10 Mechanical Railway Crossing Bell. So this is the newest bell in my collection. And now we'll take a look. As you can see, this one is still... Um, like in its original colour scheme from the factory with the black gong and the unpainted cast aluminium housing. Some Webco bells were later like either painted all black or all, all grey. It's depending on where they were installed. But this one's still original in its original like finish from the factory. So Now we're gonna have a look around the bell. <laughs> there, here's the gong. No idea of how it sounds. Rain shield, which is like literally on the, which is actually part of the housing itself. Similar to Westinghouse hybrid bell, where it's not a separate piece. Uh, I'll spin it around, show you the back. Now, when I got this bell, um, it didn't have its um, original back cover, and I still have yet to find one. But um, I just made this homemade cover out of a cereal box. Uh, there's a, there's the bolt down there. It's an old square headed bolt. With a more modern hex nut on it. Oh, right, well, let's take this clip off. And that just fell off and here's the inside of the bell. So when I first got this bell, it was actually broken. It didn't work on its own. Yeah, but I... Because the reason is because this bolt here, the original one was broken. So, and that wasn't making contact, so it was open all the time. Meaning that the bell wouldn't work. But uh, what I've done, I've just put a new bolt in there. Well, a bolt, it's actually two bolts that have been screwed onto each other because this one here is actually one of those ones where the thread is inside the shaft rather than outside it. And there's also a, a nut and a washer there as spaces. Yeah, so when I first got the bell, I had to fix this, I had to fix the hammer, and I also had to make that for the back, since it doesn't have a cover. <laughs> now these bells are actually quite unique in the way they work, in that they don't actually use a plunger assembly or or an electromagnet like like all the other mechanical bells do this bell right there is actually an electric motor and that is actually what moves the hammer and I'll explain a bit more about the hammer you know shortly but um Here's where all the electrical stuff is. There's the motor up there and behind that cover. There's capacitor dented but still works. <laughs> now the power comes in, goes through all its things, and the motor here, it actually turns on. And then this goes up, rings the valve. And then what happens here is this contact is open, which makes the circuit incomplete. And then this drops back down, completes the circuit, then goes, hits the rings of L again, and it'll keep doing that until the power source is removed. But the capacitor over here. And that. That hole there is actually where the the bolt hole, where the, the threaded 
hole for the bolt that holds the gong on is it's actually the other side of that and it is starting to crack away from the housing and there's the other hole where the cables from the signal pole would come up through the bottom of the bell and then be connected up here positive on the top negative on the bottom yeah so I'll now put the camera down, turn the bell back around and see what it sounds like. Take the gong off now, and we'll show you. And I'll show you the inside of the, this car. That goes. There's some washers that I have on those spaces, and there's the inside. As you can see, let's take the camera off the tripod. As you can see here, it's got a. Let a cube and a bunch of numbers. I'm not sure what that is. Might be a catalog number or a part number or something. It's pretty long as well. <laughs> Here's the the hammer or the emphasis on a hammer, my replacement, because this thing had no hammer in it when I got it. Is these bells, the um, original hammers, the bit of metal that the actual striker part is mounted on very flimsy and they were known to break off from metal from the metal fatiguing over the years as these as the bells wore out which is why these are quite hard to find second hand these days but i just made a replacement hammer out of it by simply sticking that old an old rusty bent bolt inside inside an irrigation fitting and and that irrigation fitting is just um i don't know how you can see it there it's um stuck on the, the shaft of the motor and then and that works really really well and there's also just some nuts and bolt ends from the other side showing through where all the parts are there's the, the hole that goes through See the crack there. <laughs> I'll put this back up here. And I'll show you the bell ringing the gong off. <laughs> 